everybody! My name is Witchit and I aspire to be the most generic art YouTuber that will proceed to take stabs at the YouTube algorithm. Because you know what? I want my first video to have like 15,000 views. I want my first video to have 10, 100,000 in the first couple weeks. I want to be a story time YouTube artist. I want to get that YouTube Bitcoin. I want to make money. I want to tell stories. And then I realized, I've tried the commission story, which that, that went kind of well. You know what, I need to try, I need to try look deep within my intellect and remember, do I have any art thief stories? Or like, people that have been horrible in the art community, do I have any stories? And then I remembered, somewhere deep inside of me. Amino, Amino, Amino. amino. The Amino Chronicles. Talk about the Amino story. And that's it today, ladies and gentlemen. We are talking about the Amino Chronicles. Now this is the first story. This is the first scandal that ever happened in my time in Amino. And let me say, this is probably the most common scandal, but this one has a unique twist to it. So stay around, guys. Now I'm guessing you're probably seeing some lovely art on screen now, yes. If you don't know, I also stream sometimes. This piece was not exactly streamed, but however, it is an experimental piece going on on screen. I think this is the lovely sketch pile. I did a sketch pile and I exported this one into a different canvas and I blew it up and I worked on it and I tried doing a grayscale painting. So that's just a little exposition before we get into the main chunk of the audio. If you wanna see the full resolution pictures, you can follow me on Instagram, even though Instagram loves to destroy the quality of all my images, crying in many pieces. Now to get on with our lovely tale. We start back in my first couple days of Amino. I had made one friend that had been on this Amino since literally day one. This is the Arts and OCs Amino, by the way and let's establish the ground rules. No face reveals, no telling anyone your address, try to avoid using your full name, please. And they're really strict about this. They don't allow people that have their icons as their face, so no selfies. You can do self-portraits. It's just no face reveals, no expletive information, and just keep it family friendly and you have to be 13 to be on the this web page of Amino. And it's pretty easy to get banned. Looking at myself, who's got two strikes! And you know what, it's such a small platform I left anyway. However, because it's a small platform, it's really easy to spot accidents and conundrums coming down. So let me see, I have screenshots by the way, because I remember this was such a big deal to me. So I can actually read word for word Hello, I am, we need to change his name, I was like, you're right. I am Banana, and I have about 650 plushies of OCs, games slash TV characters, and I was thinking of doing a giveaway. You have to say which, as in like, which, which is the <laughs> one you want and why I'm giving away nine, and I will PM you, private message, you, if you win, no, Arguing, T-Y, thank you. I think he misspelled arguing, but then again, I misspell everything. <laughs> Cry, I try to interact with other artists during streams, and you know what? I get shut down because I can't spell, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, obviously, with an OC plushie giveaway, with everything capitalized and not really punctually correct, with no periods, you'd think, Wow, someone might think this is a tiny bit suspicious. You know, even I saw it and I clicked on it and I was like, whoa, this is pretty interesting. So, of course, everyone's just like, hello. And there's always a mod in every chat. They're like, oh, hi, I'm the moderator, welcome. I don't remember seeing a mod enter, but I know one was in there. And I guess they just kind of slipped that, that rule of no expletive information. Now. This person did the weirdest, wackiest thing. Well, it's not weird and wacky, it's the laziest thing they did. Tips to being an art thief, don't be one, that's the number one rule. But if you're going to be one, because you can't stop with the inevitables already happening, try to edit out the damn watermarks, the massive watermarks, yeah. Editor's note, I'm not trying to promote art theft, I'm just saying, 
hypothetically, if you want to be more successful, if you're trying to be smart about stealing art, remove the watermarks. But then again, that's why watermarks are put in place so that doesn't happen because most arse thieves are lazy. So yeah, the troll from underneath the desk has just got to disclaim that. So I could see that these plushies are made by Magnastorm on DeviantArt. And it says, do not upload without permission. Oh my gosh, such professional looking photos with all these watermarks on them. Gasp! Did no one click on any of the images to see the watermarks and the two names obviously not matching? I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think Banana and Magnastorm don't really correlate in any way, shape, or form. Now, of course, sometimes names are claimed, you know? Like, I can't always claim the name Witchet. Sometimes it's been taken, so you know, like, I have to change the name a little bit. So, just in case it was like an old alternative name, and it was the only way for them to like get something slightly related to their channel. So I went on their DeviantArt and of course, no, they have no relation to Amino at all. This is a random person trying to do a giveaway with stuff that's not even theirs. This is an art thief trying to physically give away stuff. Now that brings up the question, why are you trying to give away stuff? Obviously, if you're trying to give away physical goods, you need their address. Now someone actually did bring this up in chat. How are you gonna ship them though? Post office, wow, these look amazing. Do you do commissions? I have no idea how to spell. I PM you that you won and you send your address in PM. No one questioned this by the way. Everyone was like, so cool, yeah, they're cool. And then they were selling them eventually. They're like, oh, well this is a free giveaway. Here are my prices. And I don't know British pounds. I believe these are euros, so I'm just gonna take a guess. Are these euros? I'm gonna go look that up quickly. Okay, my bad, it's the British pound, excuse me. Okay, so the US dollar is stronger currently according to Google, but it's so close, you might as well just call it a dollar. So anyway, a small plushie costs about $5. Small, a extra small $5, small $10, medium, 15, 16 dollars discount. I am for discount if I am in good mood. You don't put discounts if you're in a good mood. That's another complete red flag. Okay, large is 30 dollars, extra large is 30 to 50. But sorry, my Wi Fi died for a bit. You're welcome. I will PM you. You guys, you guy, gal, get a free chibi plush with your furbs. Furs? With your furs, yay. Why is nobody questioning? Why are you giving away something? Just don't. If someone's asking for your address and it looks too good to be true, or you don't understand the context, and you know it's already against the rules to do physical giveaways on the Amino, question it, please. If this is any advice coming from this video, please question everything you see, especially when it's something that could physically harm you, giving your address away to someone. So of course, what did I do about this? What did the great Witchet do to solve this? I DM'd a mod, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I freaked out to my friend that I just made, like, dude, what do I do? Like, no one else is questioning this, and someone's gotta do something, so it might as well be me! So of course, I, the great and powerful Witchet, must do something about this. Oh, I'm too great. Oh, look at me. Oh, I'm so amazing. I did something about a situation. Huh. <laughs> I am not that narcissistic. Jesus. I mean, what is this? A CSI investigation? I love saying all of my content's a CSI investigation, but what is this? An investigation? No, this is just, this person is doing something bad. Mom! <laughs> situation. I think that's why mod and mom sound so similar because they're basically the moms of everyone. It's Johnny, you can't do that. I'm calling mom. That's what I did. I just called mom. So I said, moderator, mommy moderator, do something. And they go, okay. So I showed them the evidence. I showed them the DA. I showed them the screenshots and I said, okay, can you use your powers to maybe like do something about this? And they did. They took it down within like 45 minutes, which I'm like, <laughs> okay. I'm guessing they had to go talk to a leader first. So there we go. This person was banned and I made, like I checked, this member is banned because they violated amino guidelines. 
Banana the plushy maker is no longer on Amino. Will he strike again? Lord, I don't know. Maybe? Who knows? But you know what? There's my art thief story. Now may the algorithm bless me with millions and millions of views. Please, YouTube algorithm. Okay. I'm sorry, YouTube. I will go back into my peasants and continue pedaling on the YouTube gears. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> all sarcasm aside, I really do appreciate every single one of you, all 1,300 of you, for hitting the subscribe button and saying, hey, your art and personality are decent enough to me to stay here and be like, hey, nice job. I appreciate that. Thank you. Bye-bye.